So that was kind of your first real action of getting multiple carries in a game, in a college game. I mean, how did you feel you did in that game? Um, I felt like, you know, my performance wasn't too bad. Um, after watching the film, I felt like there was a lot of things I could have did better. Um, but for that for being my first time out there, you know, I thought I, overall, you know, I did, I did what I could, you know, with the opportunity that was presented, and, you know, just trying to help the team. Exactly. What did you see on film that you maybe didn't process, like, as it was happening? You know, what really stood out to you? Um, I guess the one thing you can't really practice is the speed of the game. You know, um, you, can, you can try your best to, but when you finally get out there, you know, you can't really simulate, you know, what it's going to be like when the defense, you know, flows, you know, when you're making your reads. So I think that's just the one thing I could be more prepared for is just, you know, how fast the game really is. What did you feel, what did the running backs feel as a whole, like the, what was the takeaway from the way you guys were able to run the ball in the first game? Um, I think that, I think that overall, I think that we ran the ball pretty well. Um, we put a big emphasis on finishing this week. Um, you know, Coach Doozy talked about, you know, you make the biggest improvements from week one to week two, and I think that we're going to put a really big emphasis for us running back wise, just finishing our runs, finishing our blocks, and really taking pride in what we do. I think you made more of an emphasis on the running game strategically this week? Um, you passed most of the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, today was day one of preparation. Um, you know, just trying to get a feel for it, watching a lot of film, trying to figure out what, you know, what they do as a defense and um, the best way to attack them. So I'm not really sure what, what the emphasis is going to be this week, but um, I'm excited to see what we're going to do. Coach was telling us yesterday there were a lot of self-inflicted wounds. As you guys are watching yeah. that tape, do you see that too, that there are a lot of little things that just were missing? Yeah, um, and you know, it's week one, you know, nerves, anxious. Um, but I feel like I feel like personally that we beat ourselves out there. There are a lot of things that that we could have did to stop, you know, the, the things from happening. So um, that just that's just on our part. You know, we got to come out. We have to be better. Got to have a better week of practice and got to be better prepared for the game. Yeah, you guys obviously have early practices at times. How about an 11 a.m. start? What's that going to be like? <laughs> uh, I think it'll be fun. Uh, it'll be it'll be it's, it's interesting to see how everyone gets up, gets their motors going. But I think that you know once you get up and get going, you know. It's, kind of like in that game, you know, you just kind of, you know, you're back, you're playing football, you're doing what you love to do. What time do you guys have to wake up for a game like that? Are you know, like noon kicks, it's up, it, it's just one hour early? I'm not even sure, honestly. Usually, I'll, I'll probably say maybe maybe four or five hours before, just so we can get all the pregame, you know, all the meetings and all the meals and stuff in, so probably like maybe four or five hours before. Would you prefer, prefer to play earlier or later in the day? Um, I just Playtime. like I just like playing, honestly. <laughs> so, um, honestly, playing under lights, you know, that that's always fun. But um, playing daytime, I think it'd be fun too. So, how do you gauge the resiliency of this team? You know, it was kind of a bad game Saturday night, but how do the guys bounce back the next day and this and the rest of the week? Um, I think just knowing our guys, we take pride in a lot of things that we do. And so, you know, we're we're, we're, we're a confident group. You know, we want to win. You know, no one likes losing. And I think just knowing our guys, knowing how we, knowing how hard we worked, knowing how much work we put in this off season, you know that was a tough L for us. But um, I know that we take we take a lot of pride in our work, and I know that we'll come out swinging the next game for sure. And looking at Ohio, I mean, what what have you seen from them on film, and what kind of challenges are you expecting? Um, they are they are a very tough team. They play with a lot of grit. Um, they remind me a lot of ourselves. You know, they're kind of they're overlooked a lot of times. You know, but you know, I think they they feel like they're, they're the underdog coming to this game though. So they'll come in, you know, trying to prove a lot. You know, I think they're really gritty. I think they're really tough, and I think that it'll be a really good one. Being from Ohio, do you know, like, do you know any of the guys? Have you ever competed against any of those guys? Um, I'm I'm not sure. I don't think I have competed, but I know a couple of guys that played um, after I was going to high school that are now playing up there. So anything else? Thank you, sir.